Tinsfield matters particularly and has mattered um, to my mother who died a couple of years ago and because she was evacuated here during the war and she actually came back in her school holidays. She became quite close to the family, the, uh, the Raxels who lived here and I think spent some of her sort of her, some of her best teenage memories are from holidays she spent here. My mother um, left a will, but uh, we, all, we felt that we were already reasonably well provided for. She would have loved to have included in her will a significant bequest to Tinsfield. And it's called a deed of variation, but it's actually, forget the legal terminology, it's quite a simple thing that within two years of somebody's death, you can actually change their will um, with money that you would have inherited. So it was really to make the whole experience of what she left much more pleasurable for everybody. And the first was the sawmill, which was turned into a fabulous education centre. The orangery, she was also a passionate gardener, so she loved the garden and everything to do with that. And then finally, um, um, this lovely veranda where the seats were no longer able to be used, so they've reproduced them and they've renovated all the tiles on the veranda. So um, the National Trust, you're very clever at really getting familiar with the kinds of things as, been, uh, uh, as possible funders you might like to see happen.